Here is an application problem on arithmetic sequence. Question 11. Ellen invests $100 on October 1, 2014. The investment earns 5% per annum, simple interest, paid October 1 of each year, so after one year. Determine the value of investment on October 1, 2023. Okay. Now, when we say that simple interest is earned and the rate of interest is 5% per annum, it means in one year, 5 out of 100. So, the interest earned will be $5 every year. Okay. So, 5% per annum means 5% of investment. Investment is $100. So, 5% of $100 is $5. So, we can make a sequence like this. That the first year is investment in 2014 $100 next year in 2015 October 1 simple interest of 5% will be given so the amount will increase by 5 so it becomes 105 so that is the second year right then next year again 5 more dollars will come so it becomes 110 right and then again 5 more 115. So that is how your sequence is going to grow or the money is going to grow. So this is arithmetic sequence since if we see the difference between consecutive terms we get five dollars right 105 minus 100 is 5, 110 minus 105 is also 5 correct. So here the general formula is first term plus n minus 1 into d right. So, Tn is, first term is 100, plus n minus 1, we'll write n minus 1, and D is difference, common difference, which is 5. So, that is our formula for this. Now, what is n? To find n, we need to find difference between 2023 and 2014. So, we have 2023 minus 2014, correct? So, how many years? So, so we get 13 minus this one, 0. 9 years, correct? So, 9 years in all afterward. So, this is the first term. This is, think like this. Think how many terms will be there. Well, think like how many terms. This is 2014, right? This is 2015. Now, if we consider 2015, then we are on the second term. Do you understand? So that's kind of a catch. I should say 9 more years. That means n minus 1 is 9. n is actually 10. Now how? Let me explain you. So, we invested in 2014. Next year will be 2015. And... How many terms do we get? Arithmetic sequence, we get two terms, right? But 15 minus 14 is just one. Do you see that? Just one. So term number wise, this is 2016, right? But the difference is two. Term number is three. So let me write term number here. Term number here will be, this is term one, T1, right? This is T2. This is T3, correct? So, on 2013, which is difference is 9, here difference is 1, term number is 2. So n will be 10. This means n equals to 10. You see that that's kind of tricky. And therefore, we will use n as 10 in our formula. Okay, so we get t10 equals to 100 plus 10 minus 1 into 5, which is 100 plus 9 times 5 which is 45, right? So we get $145 as our total money after 9 years of investment, right? So think like this, 9 plus years. So this is the plus times. So every time, for 9 times, we will get $5. That is the end of the way of looking into it. Do you understand? Every next year, we'll get $5. So after 
nine years, it will be 2013, so we'll get five dollars for nine years, right? That is how we should look into it, right? Therefore, I brought to your notice that 2023 minus 2014 is 9, but that does not mean that n is 9, n is 10, okay? Why? One more, plus 1, do you understand? Plus 1. So total number of years we are considering is, is 10, from 14 to 23, correct? So that is how it is, okay? So if I, let me say this kind of a question. If we have numbers from 1 to 9, then how many numbers are there? You do 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. But 1 to 9? 1 to 9 is 9 numbers, right? I hope you get it. So, yes. So, so there's a trick involved. This is how we see things. Numbers from 1 to 9 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 numbers. But when we do 9 minus 1, we get 8, right? So, so that is, that is what it is and that's how we will be relating it, okay? There are 9 numbers. So, there are 10 years between 2014 to 2023, okay? That's how it is. So, n is 10 here, not 9. So, that is a mistake which sometimes we see in this type of a question and uh, yeah, People will mark 140 as the answer, but the right answer is B for us. Okay, I hope you get it. Thank you.